At first I was like, I have 2,000 credits, let's make the coolest car possible. Let's go something crazy, maybe a little bit of a theme, have a little bit, you know, painted octane, black market, exotic wheels, like really try to get as much as I can out of the 2,000 credits, which is where I came up with these two designs. Oh, and then man. I realized you were judging the competition. You know, I've never been known as an item guy, never been known as a trading guy, never been known as a crate guy, or even a car guy, but it's time. It's time for me to finally get a nice Rocket League car. So I've challenged a few of the best traders in the world in the Rocket League community to make me a cheap car, because even though I'm looking for a cool car, I'm still a cheapo, and you know, I don't want something too crazy. So I gave each of these traders a budget of 2,000 credits to use to trade and do whatever they have to do to basically get the items and to build me my dream car in Rocket League. The winner of this contest would get a hundred dollars, 100 smackaroos from me for building me the best car they could make. And yeah, I'm pretty excited these guys all do awesome stuff. We have Stig, my good friend, and you know, sort of in in the trading community, somebody who I talk to a lot who really gets my sensibilities. We've got his friend Silver Hood, who is also somebody in the trading community, knows his items. And we've even got Pick a Pixel in this, if you guys know who that is. Let's just say he knows what he's doing when it comes to items and trading. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, before we go any further, a big shout out to the sponsor for today's video, which is Audible. Now, I would say there are a couple things that you guys probably don't know about me. First, I'm actually a huge reader. My wife and I read a ton, and I love reading so much. Sometimes I wish I was reading when I'm supposed to be doing other things. The other thing is I love to listen to basically anything, podcasts, you know, and especially when I drive or work out or go on hikes. And Audible is awesome because it really combines these two things. Audiobooks make it so that you can take in all of that information or enjoy that story or whatever it is you want to listen to, but you can do it passively, which means you can do it while you're driving a car or going on a hike. I cannot recommend Audible enough. If you're not already a member, you have to check it out. All the stuff is in the description below if you want to go check it out. Literally audible.com forward slash flump, or you can text flump to 500 500. Super easy. But yeah, as an Audible member, you will get one credit per month, good for any title in their premium selection. That could be the most recent bestseller, a new release, or even that novel that you just wanted to dig into for a while. And whatever you choose, you get it forever. You also get access to the Audible Plus catalog filled with literally thousands of audiobooks and more, like original content, even things like meditation or sleep tracks, and along with that, of course, podcasts. So it's an all-in-one app, the Audible app, and you can even try this out for free for the first 30 days. I'm personally reading this amazing series by Greg Isles. The first in the series is called Notches Burning, literally one of the best novels I've ever read. I'm sure some of you have probably read it, and if you can vouch for me in the comments below, like I'm, I'm sure some of you have, let me know if you've read it and if you liked it. This series is amazing, and Audible makes it so that I can actually take it with me on the go. To check out Audible, visit audible.com forward slash flump, like I said before, or text Next flump to 500 500 all of that can be accessed from the description below as well and again try this today for the first month completely free again big thanks to audible for sponsoring the video and let's dive right in at first i was like i have 2,000 credits let's make the coolest car possible let's go something crazy maybe a little bit of a theme have a little bit you know painted octane black market exotic wheels like really try to get as much as i can out of the 2,000 credits which is where i came up with these two designs Oh, and then man. I realized you were judging the competition. Mm -hmm. And so I threw everything out the window, like anything cool, flashy, interesting, I threw out the window. Okay. So then I was like, well, you're an OG player. I still kind of want to get a black market decal and kind of get something. So then I went with just a very basic design. Okay. But then I was like, still too flashy. So my final design, my final submission is, let me find it, is this right here. Oh. Kind of flashy, kind of subtle has that matte pearlescent that I love where it kind of like has this weird pearlescent effect. Mm. Just kind of a good mix of everything I feel like. And you have your black wheels, black sterns are classic. Probably the best black wheels you can get for under 2,000 credits. Those are sick. Oh my gosh, I love it, dude. I love it. Okay, I like it. So what you did is you took like my sensibilities of very clean, simple, but you, you were like, okay, if somebody, trying to think in like the real world, you still gotta spend some money. You still gotta get something cool. You know what I mean? Like you yeah, can't just go yeah. buy a Honda Civic. I, I gotta get something, and I, that's that's very cool. What is that decal? Yes, yeah, so this decal is uh, called Gale Fire. It's an unpainted Gale Fire decal. I just think it's like really um, 
like kind of sleek, simple, yeah. um, kind of interesting, a little bit different, not super used. Um, and then overall, like it's a pretty, I think it's a, a pretty competitive card. I know you're a competitive player, so. God, I love uh, it, dude. I love it. The more, yeah. I, okay, I'm going to be real with you. When you first throw, threw it on there, I was like, hmm, but now the more I look at it, I love it. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, sweet. this is a card I can picture in like RLCS. And I wanted to do at least something. So I went with the painted octane. I feel like orange is the cheapest octane that like you can use on both sides. Yeah. So like, obviously, you know, white would be the best. Gray would be all yeah. right. But like, I just feel like orange kind of works with those. Cause like blue orange is a nice combination. And then obviously your red and orange looks really good, I think. Yeah. Oh my God, man. Okay. Then I like, like the contrasting, like shiny anodized with like the uh, matte pearlescent mm -hmm. primary. Okay, I really, really, really like it, man. You killed it. I like the blue more, I would say. I don't know okay. why, but I like the blue a little more. But I do, yeah, I like the orange a lot, too. And, like, the other thing, too, is, like, you can all, like, you know, obviously you can play around with the color combinations mm -hmm. as well. But, like, I know that you like blue, so obviously I wanted to do a blue primary. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You've, you've set the bar high for the first one. <laughs> so, nice work, man. All right, let's go. Oh, <laughs> you went... You went like Hawaii themed? Is, am I right with this? Absolutely. Let's Gotta go. pay respects. So I'm a really big surfer over here and I love surfing culture. I wanted to have something that matched the sporty look of Rocket League, but also the sporty look of surfers. Mm -hmm. So I meshed them together in a card that has the waves rolling through it and also has a sleek design to it. Oh man. Okay, yeah, and you know what's really cool is, so obviously, I, I don't know if you feel this way, I'm not a big topper guy, but this topper, mm -hmm. which by the way, I've never seen that topper. What the I heck? wanted something that wouldn't It doesn't feel like a topper. It's like, yeah, it's not obstructive at all. Yeah. Okay, so what are these wheels? Uh, so these wheels are Titanium White Guidance, and they are relatively inexpensive for how nice they look. They're very sleek with the actual rim, and everything about them is really nice. They go with a lot of different setups. Yeah, they look sweet. And so why did you pick them for this car? Like what like what's the significance of them in relation to trying to make like a surfer car? So I went with a couple of different choices. The first one was Titanium White Masados, which had like a turbine look to them, and I was gonna have a whole entire water feel to it. But these really match up with the lineage on the design and also have that sleek look that we were looking for to match everything and kind of pull it together. Wow, I really like it. And so then Thank um you. Where, like, how was your money spent? How was your credit spent? So the first thing was figuring out, could I afford to even have the Cobalt Octane in the first place? Mm -hmm. I messed around with having some four screen designs at first. I was trying to go for like an enter the matrix kind of look, but I couldn't pass up on the opportunities the Cobalt Surfboard. It just blends in so perfectly and has such a nice feel to it. And it was worth spending that extra 100 credits just to get the Cobalt Octane. And with the guidance being such a low price and the surfboard not costing too much with the MGA decal, it was an honestly a no-brainer. All right, so moving on to our orange side over here, I decided to go for a powerful Iron Man kind of look. Oh, sweet. So you did a totally different like car for the, for the orange side. Absolutely. So that's where you spent the other thousand credits then? Yes, entirely. Oh, with man. The, uh, blue setup i wanted to go for something that was more sleek and really reserved and with the orange side i wanted to go with something that was very bold flashy and powerful yeah wow i love this car dude this car is sick okay so the topper is a jolt bangle too it was an early uh rocket pass item that, that was in the game mm -hmm. not many people really see these anymore yeah i've but... never seen it and honestly it's it's also not obtrusive so i like that you went with that absolutely and then we have the regular hex tied on it. It's a relatively inexpensive black market decal, totally worth going out for. And uh, to match with it, we have the tremor wheels, which are very underrated. They only cost around a hundred credits. Highly recommend picking them up. And then you went with the orange octane then? Yes, I did. And it pulls everything all together. Yeah. Dang, man, nice work. You killed it. I, this is, so I'm very, obviously, as you know, I mean, look at my car. That's like my kind of car, right? Just blue and black wheels. That's a great car. <laughs> so, and I just don't spend any, like, any money on the game ever. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't care. So this is why this is cool, because I feel like you're showing me that you can have, like, a very clean, simple car that even has a topper and that says something pretty, you know, boldly, but isn't 
too flashy. Like this car is not gaudy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, Absolutely. It's uh man, it's awesome. I love and it. And it's not going to get in the way while you're playing. You can just admire it while you're on the main menu. And then when you're in game, you don't have to look at it. Yeah. Dang. Nice work, man. Okay. I really like it. I don't know how I'm going to pick this. I already love both of your guys. This is tough. Thank you. Nice work, dude. Uh, we'll start with we'll start with the the blue all right let's go yes the blue okay so this 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 is the this is one half this is the blue team okay and both cars have the dragon lord decal because that is the first ever decal i got um in a crate like nearly five years ago so oh, i thought i'd cool. so take it like, all the way back this has sentimental value to you in some way exactly it does Sweet. yeah yeah i always look at that and i think oh that's the one so I've basically gone with, first of all, the Lime Octane, uh -huh. of which is most of the price. Uh, it's about half the price, okay. like uh, um, 1,000 credits. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I tried my best to match the Dragon Lord color with the Lime Sunburst wheels. Mm -hmm. um, not quite sure if they do match, but again, because I, I can't really see <laughs> colors particularly well, but I tried my best at it. It's funny that and, the color um, of the wheels is almost in between the like green of the decal and the <laughs> yellow of the of the car. <laughs> is it, yeah, see, I and then I was looking at the car from both sides, and one side is really shadowy, and one side is really bright, so I didn't know where to go. So it's some kind of like similar-ish look, and then I went for a sort of dark primary. I like it. It's sweet. I mean, yeah, I like the I like the way the uh, the sort of the spots circly bits on the back um i don't know what you'd call it the back flap bits mm -hmm. you know it's got that like spotty pattern i thought for i think dragon lord is like 50 credits if you don't already have one i think most people might have one that they don't even realize they have um but it's very very cheap and then the uh the orange car i sort of tried to go for a hot pink kind of vibe yeah that's sick um, i like it so i love i love pink in in rocket league um yeah. i think it looks really cool and uh, i was gonna have before i realized about the budget i was gonna have a pink octane and go all that whole way but i was like oh this is just way over budget so i had to bring it back a little bit um and it was a choice between pink sunburst like the other team or pink velocis because they're the same price both about 200 credits so mm -hmm. i decided to go with velocis because it was a little bit um, there's a little bit more color going on, a little bit more vibrant. <laughs> Man, I, I love it. I think it's amazing. I like it a lot. It's very... I'm um, glad. It's very like... Um, it's a little out of my box, I would say, in general. Like, it's uh -huh. a little more flashy than uh, a lot of cars. Yeah, that I use. But yeah. what I do like about it is it's not gaudy, like uh, super crazy, you right. know, bright wheels. And like... well, the, You know what I mean by like... You know those like... I know, uh, yeah. <laughs> like white, like... I don't know. I have. I think I have a specific wheel in mind that I don't like. But yeah, these are sweet. This is this is awesome. Very cool, man. I like it a lot. It's pretty dope. All right, so we got Stig back on a call here. Uh, I've gone through the designs, all three of them. I like all three of them. Uh, they're all very different, as you you guys saw. And yeah, had to pick a winner. So for me based purely just on look the look of the car and the creativity and you know a, a car that really speaks to my sensibilities i had to go with stig's car this one was just awesome so you're the winner stig you did it thank you thank you well first and foremost thank you for having me um i'm glad i was able to beat out some stiff competition i know pick a pixel and silverhood both have a lot of experience in designing and uh and you know items in general and um it's honestly a little bit of a surprise but i'm glad i was able to pull up this uh, upset i'd call this one an upset i think yeah and you know i wasn't i was really trying to be unbiased too like i was just like i don't care it doesn't matter who these people are it's just which car do i like the most and yeah this car is amazing